Welcome back, everybody, to the Neon Kitchen, episode number three, here at the beautiful Neon Exchange in Gilroy, California. We have Tony Bowles behind the Hello, camera there. Hello, everyone. How you doing, Tony? Thank you for coming for another week. No problem. Uh, we do have some homemade stuff we're going to be making today. We do have homemade falafels, which are going to be made with some chickpeas here, you guys. Take a look at this. Nice. We're also going to make a homemade tzatziki sauce. If you haven't had a tzatziki sauce, I'm going to show you today how to make a homemade one. Really easy, all in one bowl. Mix it right up. Be rocking and rolling, you guys. We do have a special guest in the house. It's a local artist, kicking butt out there. I checked out his uh, Instagram. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. We have MJ Fitch with. He's the owner of Art Made by Matt. There you go. MJ. MJ in the house. How you doing? You said yes. Two weeks ago, I met you, right? At yes. The... Two weeks ago, we met at the uh, the craft fair that was hosted in Morgan Hill Community Cultural Center. Yes. Amazing and. I just love that so much because old personality and I'm just, I'm so happy to be here. Yes. I heard, so you... was, I heard there was a, so much, so much uh, wonderful positive work going on there. Yeah. At the children actions business. Yeah. It was amazing. It's so nice to see other people who like really are into the art and the business aspect of it, especially people my own age. Yes. Definitely. So we're going to explore after we get started with food, we're going to explore more art by Matt. And this is different. one of them right there, right? Yes. Yes. That's what I wanted to show this. This is my good luck charm now. We're gonna have you here on the shows from uh, Little Elephant from uh, MJ. Thank you, MJ, appreciate it. So we're gonna get started cooking. Do you cook at home at all? I do. I know your dad does, right? Yeah, What's your dad's name? Joseph Fish. Joseph, Shout out, good Joseph. to see you after Joseph. <laughs> we do have mom in the house. How you doing, mom? We're gonna do a couple of things here, you guys. So we're gonna do our falafels. Uh, if you've had falafels before, I know we talked earlier, your mom used to make them. We're gonna make some quick homemade ones. You have so many different recipes you could do. Uh, figure out the one that fits for you guys, for your household, your flavor, add whatever you want. Uh, they have dry mixes out there that are just as good, but making it like this, homemade, it's awesome. Plus, you can form them and freeze them. Okay. And so you go use them a week later, two weeks later, they'll be, they'll be delicious. We're going to be using the food processor. What I'm going to do now is get everything right in here real quick. Look at this big old onion. That's amazing. That's a serious onion. Uh, Matt, you said, uh, well, someone said, a little birdie said that you're a foodie. I am. <laughs> Food is really a love language in my family. Is it's it? The, uh, it's the opportunity to kind of put everything else to the side and just be able to be with ourselves and just be each with each other. Yeah. Definitely. Yes. And I, I, one of the foodie, uh, let's see, when I think I was asking you or she what your favorite foods were, and you said you really liked Chef Sterla. Chef Sterla has been on we the show. We love Chef Sterla. She was on here. great. Shout out to Chef, Chef Sterla. Chef Sterla, shout out. Good to see you. She's doing awesome at the new restaurant. She's doing a relish in the shout house. Shout out to relish. Yes, definitely. We miss her. Got to get her back on you, right? Yes, we, we should. Yeah. <laughs> and now she'll be under relish. That's right. There we As go. a representative from Relish. Yeah, but we love Chef Sterling. She's awesome. Mm. She's awesome, man. So we're going to have some onions in there. See how I'm not chopping them up all crazy? Because we're going to put them in the food processor. Yes, sir. Cilantro. There you go. Do you like cilantro? Yes. I have parsley. I'm not going to use it all. We're going to use a half a bunch in there. Real simple, you guys. Half a bunch. Bada bing, bada boom. Real easy. So we have these ingredients right here. I brought uh, baking soda and also some uh, chickpea flour. The flour is just in case it's real loose. We're gonna add a little bit of flour to thicken it up. Got it. That's gonna be for the, the batter we're making, the mix. And this you put at the very end of the baking soda just to put some air in there and it'll make those nice falafels nice and fluffy. Oh, that's a good tip. Yes, yeah, so, but you don't put it in the beginning, you put it at the very end. Got it. Let's bring it over here. Do you wanna bring, uh, you can bring that one and that one. My sous chef for the day. Nice. So come on over here, Tony, and I'm gonna show you what we got going on. Are you on comfortable here. in the kitchen, Matt? I am comfortable in the kitchen when I'm not running into anyone. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm very tall. How tall are you, Matt? I'm six foot four. Good lord! I know. <laughs> I know. Uh -huh. Jesus. <laughs> I can shout out if you need. No, you're good. You're good. Okay, so what are we doing? So come on over here. We have our chickpeas in here. Okay. And we're going to put our, our our bunch of cilantro. I dropped a little bit there. That's okay. Our bunch of cilantro and our half bunch of uh, parsley. You can use curly leaf or flat leaf parsley. It don't matter. Okay. Onions. Real simple, you guys. Of course. Ajo. Okay. Some garlic. I like a lot of garlic. Ajo like garlic. is Spanish for garlic. Yes. Salt, pepper. And you can see we don't measure anything here. Just a little dash. It's all of by... I love. Close it up here. And what you're looking for is the batter to be real thick and almost flaky in a bit. I'll show you right now. 
So we'll, we'll pull through. We'll just take our time. When you're pulsing it, is that intentional so you can... Yeah, I'm just seeing how's it going to work. So we'll turn it on okay. now. I'm going to throw a very light olive oil, so just a couple of drops to kind of helping it bind a little bit. There we go. And so the reason we have the, the reason we have the flour, so if it gets too watery, we add a little bit of the flour to thicken it up. Got it. Okay. And then we'll turn it off there. I'm going to pulse it a little bit. Oh, oh there it goes. Right there. Flavor. It's already going. There we go. There we go. You want it all to get mixed up. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Turn the mix up. You do need food art? I do not. That's a good one, huh? I do love to like. I did yeah. some. I'm looking forward to it. That's a good idea, actually. Maybe I should now. Great inspiration, guys. <laughs> I love there. your there shirt, Matt. Wow. Who's your, who's you. your designer? That's amazing. Uh, my designer is Karen Swainfish. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> AKA. Mom. <laughs> I got my sense of style from her. <laughs> I'm frequently stealing from her closet still. It's gorgeous. Thank you so much. I love it. Yeah. I feel like I matched the uh, the general color. Oh yeah, you're in. Yeah. in. The pink grout goes well. It compliments well. Yeah. Well, you can see right here. We're okay. gonna throw a little bit of this. Can you hand me that flour over there? That's a chickpea flour. This is the baking soda. We had a little bit Just there. Just a sprinkle. We're looking about a teaspoon. Okay. About a teaspoon. Thank you. And flour is just gonna thicken it up a little bit. I can see it's a little loose. That's not what we're looking for because when you put it in the oil, it's just going to break apart. Got it. Okay. You just this... visually saw that it was loose. Yeah, I can see right away. You can tell it's going to just really loose. And we just do this. Mix that up. Mix it up a little bit. And then um, let's take a look at it. Let's add a little more flour here, you guys. A little more. It's a process. Yes, definitely a process. We just want to get a little thicker here. But if you, it's better to add a little at a time than too much because you can't reverse it out. Exactly, exactly. Then you got that oil and more water. And a little more. Let's do another tablespoon and that's it. Okay. Then we'll put this in the fridge to chill out right away. We're almost there, Matt. We're almost there, MJ. We're almost there. It smells amazing. Isn't it? It's not really good, really fresh. So that's what we're looking for right here. Okay, let me see the consistency. I'm going to bring it over here. That's what we're looking okay. for right there. Let's get this in the bowl. Let's come back over here. Okay. We'll get this in the bowl. Oh, yeah. That's what we're so looking I was, for. Uh, he often jokes about how colorful my hardware and all my linen are. So, like, he'll pull out pot holders or cutting boards or knives and they're all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, awesome. Just, there we go. Look at that. There we go. Put this in the sink. That looks fantastic. Yeah, well, then, can you put this in the fridge? We're going to see how it goes right there. Uh huh. I'm thinking it might need a little more flour, you guys. A little more. So let's do it by hand. Let's do it by hand. You want it, um, I was checking how it was moving right now. Mm -hmm. It was moving a little too much, so let's just do it by hand real quick. Because the blend, the, the food processor was breaking up. There it is. So it's folding. I just saw it right now, what I was looking for. See it right there? It's staying there? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's staying okay. there, it's not running. That's what we're looking for. If you're doing like uh, whipped cream or yeah. anything for baking, those are called peaks. Uh -huh. So that's what you're looking for, like the peaks. Matt, I have a question for you. Now looking at your shirt and, and looking at the designs that you produce, like the zebra and the flyer and the animals, I can totally see those images replicated over and over and over again, how bright they are on a shirt or an Oxford like that. I can imagine prints like a designer fabric. Or on a, on a yeah. uh, chef apron. Oh, yes. that's smart. That yeah, would be really awesome. Yes. I wish there one for fashion. That's how it just sounds. You're marrying the yeah. two? Yeah. Oh. Can you put that in the fridge? Yes, sir. There we go. We're going to let that chill out for about uh, 15 minutes. Okay. And then we'll bring it out and we'll start frying it. We're going to get a quick cleanup. We'll be right Here back. Here you go, you guys. We have the falafel mix in the fridge, chilling out. What Jeff's doing in there is binding. Okay. Let it do it. Start the binding. Uh, if you if you did it right away, it'd be way too loose and might just fall apart in the oil. Uh, so we just let it bind for about a good 10-15 minutes. If you can leave it longer, leave it longer. It's okay. But after 10-15 minutes, it's good to work with. Okay. Uh, we're gonna start our tzatziki sauce here. Can we have a I have a bowl of uh, 
a Greek yogurt in there with a spoon in it. Can you grab that for me? My assistant over here, MJ. Art made by Matt. <laughs> Soon to be food made, Matt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. So all I have here, all I have here is going to be some uh, Greek, Greek uh, plain Greek yogurt. Okay. You don't want no flavor or nothing like just plain. Like that, we're going to add stuff to it. A lot of people, when they do uh, tzatziki sauce, they grind this on a on a uh, cheese grater. They grate it, mm -hmm. and they put in a cheesecloth or something to get that excess water out. I don't like that. I, I don't do it like that. My way I do it, I, you could taste the cucumbers in it instead of just like, hey, what is this? Yeah. You're actually going to see the cucumbers. You're going to get to taste them. And while I, I have three things here we're doing. We're going to be doing cucumbers, some lemon juice, some mint, garlic, salt, and pepper. That's, That's it, you guys. That's it. And then we do have MJ here, MJ Fitch. What's going on? Um, I just want to say one thing. I'm, uh, for your age, how old are you? I'm 14. 14? Uh, when's your birthday? My birthday is the 23rd of August. Oh, uh, coming up, Virgo? Happy early I'm a Virgo birthday. And a I'm a Virgo. You're yeah. right in the, in the middle, right? The right? You're right in the middle. Virgos, we're taking over the world. Yes, you are. We're taking over the world. I just want to say how awesome it is to have such support at this age. At this age, and that's something. Or my generation, or not only my, but I never had. I knew I always wanted to be a chef growing up. Always, my parents were just, they were just too busy working, we were surviving. And, and I just want to say it's great to, to see such support for our youth. It was just amazing. Amazing. You being on the show, out there doing shows, doing uh, different things, having your Instagram with art made by Matt. I mean, just amazing. Just good luck. Good job, man. Thank you so much. Good job. You're yes. rocking and rolling. I could be more grateful for all, for all the opportunities I've been given and all the people who have really supported me. And where did it all start for you? Like, where was that first inspiration or the first trial with art that just ignited that? That would be my first class with Linda Bassett. I still have the drawing I made from that. And she was a teacher. She moved to Utah recently, actually. Oh. She was my first ever art teacher. I loved her. She was amazing. She basically made me who I am today. Wow. And that was the moment. Shout out, shout out to oh, her. Oh, absolutely. Linda Bassett. Linda She's Bassett. out of... Uh, she lives in she... Utah now. Uh, she paints churches. Where was oh. she? Was she hosting a school at the she time? She was hosting a class on her ranch in Gilroy. In um, East Gilroy. Oh, wow. It's really gorgeous. And so that was the first for you? That was like the introduction? My first class with her, I realized that I could like, I could really get into this. I was just a little kid and I just, I thought I was having fun. It was amazing. Yeah. I came home though and like, my mother was just so proud of me and that was oh. the moment where like if i can make her proud and i can enjoy myself it's the right thing for me definitely yeah. yes and how old were you when you when that happened i was probably six years old oh wow i started early yeah and then mom that. leaned into it oh she definitely did so my mother was always artistic she's a poet and she's a drawer <laughs> she's a painter actually she's probably a better painter than i am wow and i always just have so much encouragement yeah. That, Anything to be myself. That's amazing. You know, I see so many similarities with with your mom and my mom, and you know how how you know artistic you are. And my, I'm artistic on the food side. You know, my mom's a poet. You know, she has a book out. She she you know published a book on poetry. She did artwork. You know, she out there with the community, helping people. Same thing like your mom. So there's a lot of similarities there that I see that are just amazing that really formed you into the young man you are now. Thank you so much. Yes. I couldn't be more. I was enamored when I first met you, so Aww, you definitely you. have the charm. I want to say you just have good taste, but I really do. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're both here, right? <laughs> that is so funny. Thank you. <laughs> so we have uh, the yogurt, Greek yogurt, cucumber, small dice. Take a look at that. That's beautiful. Minced garlic, salt and pepper. We're going to put some lemon juice in there. Okay. I love lemon Let me juice. get a close-up of that. Yeah, there that you looks go. just super good. And then we're gonna put some we're gonna do some mint. Is that like a rough chop on that? A rough chop chop on mint, you wanna see it. Okay. You don't wanna hide it. I don't like to get those sauces where there's five or six different ingredients in there and you don't notice one of them. Mm -hmm. Like what's in here? You know what I mean? You want to, you want people to know what they're eating. There nice. we go. And just actually can you mix that for me? Fantastic. Here we go. English cucumber. Chef MJ in the house, rocking it. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Go. That's probably more than While he's do. doing that, I'm going to chin on the oil okay. that I have. Okay. I'm going to put it on high. So oh, what some... did you do with just a, a little base? Yeah, I did, I did. I have my little uh, oh, saucepan okay. right there and just do it about halfway. Okay. You're not going to fill it up. If you could get a smaller one, 
Get one. Okay. How's that looking? There? Smells really good. Oh, nice. Over there. Nice. That looks wonderful, isn't it? Thank you so much. I've always been a baker, so like this is new territory. <laughs> there we go. Look at this. Perfect. You can tell who's good here. You take some <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. That's, That's okay. Something. We all have our talents, right? Looks amazing. It's amazing. Pretty. You're on a canvas, he's in the kitchen, and I'm interior design. <laughs> there we go. We're going to make a, a good team, all of us. Uh -huh. I dig the hair, so I'm down. Thank I just you. came off of purple myself. Oh my God, really? Yeah. Okay, purple hair. It's probably the best thing about it. Yeah. It's, a, it's an entire priority, and it's an entire personality trait. So we have this done. Look at that, you guys. Let me that get a little spoon amazing. and get to try it out real that quick. That looks beautiful. I can't wait. Let's try this out, you guys. There you go. Here you go. Try that out. Let me know what you think. Tony? Oh my God, it's amazing. Let me see. Tony, imagine that with some homemade falafels and a nice pita bread. We're going to slice some uh, tomatoes mm, in that. You can taste the mint. It tastes really I've good. I've been living on decaf coffee and baked chicken like <laughs> last week, so that's really good. Isn't mm. that delicious? Mm. I'll take that. Thank you so much. No problem. Can we get that for you? Oh, thank you. No Instead problem. of a silver spoon, I was born with a gold yeah, spoon. Yeah, with a gold spoon. <laughs> You want to put that in the fridge for us? Yes, so we have the falafel mix in the, in the fridge. We have tzatziki going in the fridge. We have the oil getting hot right here. We're okay. going to get a quick cleanup. We'll be right back. Okay. Welcome back, everybody. So we took out our batter. I'm taking a look at it. I did a quick tester. It is a little still too loose. So if that happens to you and you can't adjust it, I didn't bring in more flour to make it thicker. If you can't adjust it, pivot. Bake them. Okay. It's going to be a little healthier. Uh, might take a little longer. You're looking about five to six minutes. All you're looking for is a little brown there. Okay. And you can make them any shape you want or any size. I'm just making little patties here. Okay. We have them here. Uh, my oven's on at, uh, it's going to be 400 degrees. Okay. And then we'll put them in the oven and just when they're a little toasty, they're done, you guys. That's what you're Golden looking for. Golden brown and delicious. Okay. Let's get them in there. Four, we're looking at 450, you said? Uh, 400. 400, okay. Yeah, 400. All right. So, so take them out, check them out in about five minutes, and we'll come right back to you guys. So here we are, guys. We're going to take these out of the oven. Again, we didn't fry them because they were too loose. Okay. And I didn't bring enough flour to make them thicker. Okay. What I did with these, guys, let me bring them right up here. All you do is, these guys, you flip them. Golden brown and delicious, right? Got it, okay. That's what we're looking for like that. The inside's still a little perfect you, right there. Let's break one open and show. Yeah, there we go, look at this. That's what you're looking for. Okay. Oof, they're hot, ooh, shoot. Don't burn yourself. There we go, I know, there we go, there we go. So we're gonna put this down here. I'm gonna put this here so you don't burn yourself. Yes, and what we're gonna do is warm these up. We're gonna start plating, you guys. Okay. And before we plate, I definitely, uh, we want to know how to get a hold of you. Yes, how do we find you? Uh, my Instagram is at art made by Matt. You can DM me with any personalized customizations for paintings. I do pet portraits, regular portraits, and pet portraits. Nice. Are they based off of uh, photographs? Like yes, I do. You can see photographs. I've done a couple portraits of actually my friends, and I've done some portraits of my friends' pets. I have all my cats and paintings. They're very. And That's I cool. appreciate any commissions. Anything. Okay, you'll be, you'll be finding a commission from me soon. Oh, fun. <laughs> and also, I heard you'll be at the Morgan Hill Open Studios the first weekend in November. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And so you're showcasing, is that like an open forum where other artists come? Or is it just you? It's uh, So we're going to be having studios around Morgan Hill. They're going to be all opening up. All artists are going to be having our studios. And it's public invitation for a day. Come by, take a look, walk around, introduce yourself. You can work on paintings with me. I'll be just like being able to have a little bit of time to socialize with my customers. That sounds awesome. You don't get awesome. that much, so it's really nice. And then last but not least, in December, December 4th, at the Holiday Neon Bazaar, you will be showcasing your art at a booth. I'm so excited for that. It's my biggest thing I'm looking forward to right now. Yeah. It's such a huge opportunity. It is the season for Hallmark Channel. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, we'll, we'll be excited. I can't wait to see everything you bring. Thank right. you. Yes. So we're going to get plated here. We're going to start plating you guys and we'll be right we're back. We're going to just do a quick mixture here, you guys. And this mixture does blend. That's going to go on top like, uh, you know, instead of lettuce, we'll put oh, okay. parsley. And so you're just big chopping. Yeah. Um, just... Okay. In the meantime, while you're doing that, uh, Matt, MJ, uh, what are your hopes and dreams for the future? If there's anything that's on the horizon for 2022 and beyond. On the horizon for 2022 and beyond? Well, there's the Wintercraft Fair that you're talking yes. about. Yes. I'm so looking forward to that. 
I went back to school in person. And what school is that? I go to Gekka. Gekka, shout out. <laughs> the TJ Owens Gilroy Early College Academy. Yeah. I have said that so many times wrong and I'm really glad I got it right. <laughs> it's a you got it now, you got it. You're a sophomore there. I am a sophomore, hardest year, looking forward to it. Yes. I, uh, it's a big solidarity in that, I'm looking forward to it. We'll yeah. And I mean, further than that, I'm hoping to just be able to graduate with my AA. Yes, and there do some go. fabulous things. Thank you. <laughs> so while we're plating here, I got our pita bread heated it up. You guys, can I get that uh, tzatziki sauce? Yes, my sous chef over here rocking it. Rocking so you just heated it up like a tortilla? Heat it up like a tortilla. Okay. Heat it up, you can put it in the oven if you like. I just heat it up there real quick. Okay. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. What we're gonna do is add a couple of these falafels. And he said he's hungry, so we'll make sure we put them here. Yeah, be generous. There Thank you go. so much. There we go. We're going to do a, bit, a little bit of the tzatziki. That's a little bit. <laughs> Some greenery. This is, these tomatoes. are the plating, so this is where the art comes in. And we're going to do a little squeeze of lemon on here. Like so. Let's close that up there. Oh my God, look at that. This is that amazing look amazing? with goodness. Doesn't that look amazing? I'm gonna do a little garnish on the side, just like a little bit of flour there. Let's get some lemon in here. Oh yes, every, so at the end of everyone, we took a still shot of the food, because, you know, we need to see our food. There we go. I mean, I knew you were skilled with this. Yeah. <laughs> we have our wonderful homemade falafel that we had to pivot. Uh, we, were gonna, we were gonna fry them. Okay. I was falling apart too much, I didn't bring enough flour. Uh, so this is what happens in the restaurant business everywhere at home. You got to pivot with what you have mm -hmm. We ended up baking them. So they're gonna be a lot healthier. No grease in those uh, We also made our homemade uh, tzatziki sauce with some parsley uh, curly parsley and some tomato a little mixture there with salt and pepper pretty simple Try this at home. We're gonna have MJ try it. See what we have it. MJ, MJ. Thank you for coming on today, man. Appreciate it. Wish you nothing but the luck. I want you to try this. Let me know if you give me a th thumbs up or a thumbs down. Hopefully he likes it. Ooh, yes, hopefully he likes it. Feel free to drum grab roll, it. Drum roll, roll. Don't be shy, grab it. Take a bite of that. There you go, he digged in. There you go. What do you think? Thumbs, we get a thumbs He's up. He's having a special moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How was it? Amazing. Good? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Again, thank you for uh, really coming on the show and spreading the love, spreading the love. and. I love your energy and, and I'm really excited about your future. Like I, like I tell everyone that comes here, you're part of our family now. And whatever we can help you with, Tony and I will always be here for you. And, uh, and your mom, and your mom, and your dad if you come here and cook. We could be our dishwasher, right? <laughs> <laughs> but thank you again, we wish you nothing but the best of luck. Come back and see us, okay? Thank you, high five, there you go. All right. Thank you everybody for tuning in. I do want to say one thing that's special today. It is my girlfriend's grandma's birthday. She's 93 years old. Wow. Years young today. Olivia Caradona, we love you. Happy birthday. And we're going to share it most of the, another 20 years with yes, you. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Another 20 years and I think we're going to the casino. Happy so, birthday. Everybody, thank you for tuning in. My name is Chef Mark Segovia. This is the Neon Kitchen, episode three, and we are out. Bye.